John seventeen eleven, Kai uketi emi into cosmo, Kai altoi into cosmo esim, Kago pras se erkamai, Pater hagie, Teresan altus into anamatisu, Ho dedokasmoi, Hena osen hin, Kathos. Amos. Here Jesus continues praying to the Father, and we hear him say, And I am no longer in the world. Of course, this has sort of a futuristic sense to this present tense here. I will no longer remain in this world, but literally, I am no longer in the world. And they are in the world. And I, that Kago, hopefully you recognize that as an example of Crossus. You see the little Coronus there? That's not a breathing mark. That's a Coronus, a crown. That's a combination of Kai and Ego. Jesus says, and I to you, here speaking to the Father, am coming. Right, again, uh, this Erkomai expressing imminent future. And I to you am coming. Holy Father, notice the vocative form there, Jesus addressing the Father as Holy Father with this request. Keep them, that right, that teresan is an imperative form. It's an aorist active imperative, second person singular of tereo, to keep. Keep them in your name, or perhaps better, this is expressing instrumentality, by means of your name. Keep them by your name. Which, right, this is the relative pronoun, which is referring back to name, which you have given to me. Now, you might expect here the neuter ha, right, the neuter accused of ha, which you gave to me. But many times a relative pronoun will be attracted to the case of the antecedent, especially when that is a genitive or a dative. Here it is a dative. So we have by attraction, the relative pronoun has become a dative even though normally we would expect an accusative. So referring back to name, name which, referring to Jesus speaking to the Father here, which you have given, right, perfect, to me. So that, eh, 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 there's the subjunctive of me right there, so that they might be one. Notice that is not the preposition in. <laughs> this is the number one. Here, remember, there's a masculine form of one, heis, a feminine form, mia, and a neuter form hint, so that they might be one, just as we implied are one.